Best Sitting Position for Sciatica One thing you shouldn't do when sitting down with sciatica pain, is cross your legs. This is because sitting with your legs crossed can cause you to have bad posture and hold your upper body poorly whilst sitting in a chair. This could then, in turn, aggravate your sciatica pain and make you feel even more uncomfortable. Furthermore, when crossing your legs, you are more likely to lean on, and potentially trap, a nerve which could then worsen your sciatica pain. Oh, if you can't cross your legs then what should you do with them when sitting down? Well, the best way to sit when you have sciatica is to make sure the soles of your feet are placed flat on the floor, and that your feet are parallel to each other. This helps to make sure your upper body is fully supported to prevent any stress or strain from being put on a particular area. Furthermore, having your feet firmly on the floor promotes good posture, which will help to keep your sciatica pain at bay. T is important that you sit on the right chair if you have sciatica. The best type of chair for you to use is a chair with wheels. This means that instead of having to twist your body at awkward angles to reach something, do something, or see something properly, you can instead make use of the wheels on the chair to move yourself whilst keeping your body in a good position. The best sitting position for if you have sciatica is to make sure you are sitting with your hips and knees at a 45 degree angle. This helps to limit the pressure being put on your back and will prevent your nerves from getting irritated more than they already are. You should also make sure you are sitting close to your desk. If you are too far away then you'll end up having to lean forward to reach your laptop, notebook, etc., which is going to put a strain on your back and neck. So, make sure you are at a good distance from your work surface so that you can keep your back, neck, and head straight and in line with each other. If you are working at a desk with a computer screen in front of you, then you should make sure that you're at the correct height to prevent you from having to tilt your head upwards or downwards in order to see the screen properly. This is something that can put a lot of pressure on your neck, which can irritate nerves and in turn aggravate sciatic pain. One thing that is extremely important to do when sitting with sciatica pain, is to make sure your bum is placed right to the back of the chair. This helps to make sure your back is fully supported by the chair and prevents you from leaning forward and slipping into poor posture, which would in turn aggravate your sciatica pain. Perhaps the most important thing you should do to get the right sitting position for sciatica is to make sure you are sat up straight. Your spine should be in a straight line, and you shouldn't be leaning forward or back at all. Sitting straight and keeping your body balanced prevents putting any pressure on a particular part of your body, and instead keeps your weight distributed evenly. This then in turn helps to prevent aggravation of your sciatica, as no extra strain is being put on the sciatic nerve.